What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So, welcome to the first lesson in my Esperanto slash World of Warcraft um, lessons, I guess. So this is the first point where we have to start. We have to choose a character and we have to choose a team before we can move into the game. Now, there is basically two classes that you can choose. You can choose Alliance or Horde. Now, obviously, before I can really teach you anything about this game, you need to learn the different classes or not the different classes, the different um, groups that exist, like the characters that you can play, and also the teams that they belong to in Esperanto. So I reckon this will be a good way to start off to teach you a little bit about the nouns of Esperanto, a little bit about a couple of suffixes, and also just in general, um, the words for the different groups that exist. So first up, as I said, we've got Alliance and Horde. Now if you look on the screen here, um, you've got the red down the right here, which is the Horde, and you've got down the left the Alliance. Now, the word for alliance in Esperanto is alianzo, alianzo, and the word for horde is hordedo, hordedo. Very simple to remember, it's pretty much almost exactly like uh, the English. So, now, I've asked you guys which side I should play, and everyone pretty much said horde, but I'm just going to go through each of these classes, and I'm going to tell you the translation, because pretty much in this lesson, all we're going to focus on is remembering the words for these different groups, because... In all honesty, this is probably the first thing you need to learn when playing World of Warcraft is about these different groups. So yes, what was the word for alliance again? It was alianzo, alianzo. And what was the word for horde? It was hordedo, hordedo. You can almost remember that one from like Hordor, remember? From uh, uh, what is it, Game of Thrones? If you haven't seen Game of Thrones and you love World of Warcraft, I don't know what you're doing with your life, go watch it. It's an awesome TV series. So anyway. First up, we have humans. So this is your, you know, your standard male priest human. Oh, by the way, we've got classes down the right-hand side. I won't be teaching you classes in this lesson. I'll be teaching that in the next lesson because I don't want to overload you. You're going to be learning a fair few words as it is. So the humans, the word for human in Esperanto is homo, homo. So that's pretty easy to remember. Just um, so yeah, it's a pretty easy word to remember. It's just homo. It's almost like human. Next we have is dwarf. Now this word, okay, the word for dwarf is nano, nano, okay? Now, with Esperanto, you have to remember this is a different language. The crossover for the word for dwarf and gnome is quite similar in the history of Esperanto. If you look at um, the Lord of the Rings as it was translated in Esperanto, the word used for dwarf was actually the word for um, what we kind of now use for gnome, which is gnomo, gnomo. So, if you go read Lord of the Rings and you're reading about the dwarf, you'll read Gnomo, Gnomo, and you'll be like, oh, that's a bit weird. But yeah, just just remember that. But in this series, we're going to be using Nanno for dwarf. So it's Nanno. I'm, I'm not sure how you can associate that one. It'll just take a little bit of practice to remember it. Now, the word for Night Elf, uh, Night Elf. God, I can't even pronounce right now. So the word for Night is Nocto, Nocto. And the word for Elf is Elfo, Elfo. Pretty easy to remember. Now, what we will do is we'll combine this into one word. Now, when you're combining um, usually like an adjective and a noun in Esperanto, the ending for an adjective is always a. That's something I'm going to point out. You've probably noticed that homo, nano, elfo, they all end in an o sound because every single noun in Esperanto ends with an o sound. So just remember that. Now, all adjectives in Esperanto end with an a sound. So we can either say um, nocta elfo, nocta elfo, do you hear the nocta, a, a, elfo, so we can either say that, but in fluent conversation, when you're speaking Esperanto, you probably combine those two words, now when you're combining a word in Esperanto, um, you can either drop the ending of the first adjective, or you can leave it in there, so you could say nocta elfo as one word, or you could just use the noun, so the o, for both, if it makes it more easier to pronounce, so um, nocto elfo. So I'm probably just gonna, like, there's three different choices here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with in the long run. Probably just nocto elfo because that's just pure adjective, pure noun, and it's probably just easier to remember. Now, as I've already said, the word for gnome is gnomo, gnomo. The G is actually pronounced, um, unlike English, where you say gnome and it just drops the G sound. In Esperanto, every single sound is pronounced, so it's gnomo, gnomo. Now, Dranai was a difficult one. I was, I looked them up, and there isn't really like anything in folklore or, or in the history of uh, the world 
where there's something called the Draenei. They're just they're a creation of World of Warcraft. So I thought about you know maybe we could say Blue Ulo, which means blue person, but I was like nah that doesn't work. Um, and then I thought a few other things, and none of them seemed to fit. So I figured I would just directly translate their name into Esperanto. So it doesn't actually have any historical backing. This is a word I've literally just created now, but we need a word from. So the word's going to be Dranio, Dranio, okay? And I'll put the spelling down there. Now, Worgen are basically werewolf slash humans, okay? Um, so the word for a werewolf in Esperanto, there's two different words that kind of exist, but the word I'm going to go with is Hom Lupo, Hom Lupo, Hom Lupo, okay? Now, that first part, Hom, is actually just the sound dropped off of human, which is homo. So hom and lupo is the word for wolf. So human wolf, basically. So hom lupo. Now, Pandaren, again, there's nothing in the history of human... Well, maybe there is in China, but I don't know about it. But there's nothing in Western history regarding this type of race as like a, um, a fictional being. So I'm just combining the suffix ulo, which means person, and the noun for panda, which is um, pando, and basically, I'm just going to combine that into one word, and that will be pandulo, pandulo. So it's basically a panda person. Now, off to the horde, the horde dog. We have the orcs, and the word for orc is orko, orko. Okay. The word for undead is now we can. They call them undead here. Now, generally, an undead is a zombie. Okay, zombio, but. I don't want to use that word, I want to actually directly translate it because in the game there is zombies and stuff and I don't want to mix up the two. So the word for undead is malmortitulo. Now, mortiti means to die, okay? Ulo, again, is person suffix, so a malmortitulo is the opposite of that which is an undead. So mal means opposite, so malmortitulo, malmortitulo. We have Tauren. Now, the Tauren are basically just the people that are cows. So, the word for cow is bovo. And we're going to use the suffix ulo again, so bovulo. We have troll now. And the word for troll in Esperanto is trollo. And it's the same for the slang usage. So, when you say don't be a troll type of thing on the internet, it's the same word we use, trollo. Ne trollu means don't, you know, be a troll. Blood elf. Again, the word for elf is elfo. The word for blood is sango. So we can just say Sanga Elfo, which means adjective, Sanga, blood, Elfo, elf. And the word for goblin is Koboldo, Koboldo. Now that's actually similar to a actual word that exists in the game and we'll just deal with that later when we get to it. So I've been recommended to choose a Tauren um, or the Bovulo. Now I'm not sure which one I want to go with. I'll probably choose to be... Yeah, you know, I'm going to be a priest. I like being a healer. So I'm going to be a priest. And I'm just going to skip ahead now until we're in the game. Okay, so we're back. Now we're just going to review some words before we cut off this episode of the game. I'll probably kill a few things while I'm at it as well. So, what was the word for human? The word for human was homo. Okay, what was the word for horde, which is what we are? The word for horde is hordedo. Hordedo. What's this random person doing just following me around? Okay, what was the word for a dwarf? It was nanno. Nanno. What was the word for night elf? It was nocta elfo. And what was the word for gnome? It was. Gnomo, Gnomo. And do you remember the word that we created for Draenei? Dranio, Dranio. Okay, and what was the word for Orc? It was Orco, Orco. Okay, I'm just gonna like start walking in this direction because that's where I'm meant to be going according to the map up here, the map. And by the way, we might as well learn that word while we're at it. The word for map is mapo, mapo, okay? So yeah, what was the word for blood elf? It was sanga elfo, sanga elfo. What was the word for troll? It was trollo, 
Troll. And what are we? We are Bobulo. Bobulo. And what is that again? It is a cow person. We're using the suffix ulo. What was the word for undead? Malmortulo. Malmortulo. And what was the word for goblin? Koboldo. 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 Okay, I think we pretty much covered them all. Oh no, we had the pandering. So what was that again? It was Pandulo. Pandulo. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through them the last time before we cut this episode off. So, what was human? Homo. What was horde? Woo! I'm level 1. Oh no, level 2. Wow, I'm so good. It was... I can't even remember what word I just asked you then, so I'll just do that again. What was the word for horde? Ah yes, that's right. Hordudo. And what was the word for alliance? Alianzo. Alianzo. What was the word for night elf? Nocto elfo. Nocto. Oh, okay, you see what I've done there? I've suddenly said nocto and used the noun elfo because I combined it into one. Now, this is something I'll probably do every now and then. You'll have to expect this in Esperanto if they get combined into one. But let's just go nocta elfo. Nocta elfo. I'll try and like use a standardized technique because I am kind of just forming the words in the top of my head. What about troll? Trollo, trollo, Drenai? Dranio, Dranio. What about um, the Wargan? Homlupo, Homlupo. And final one, what was the word for goblin? Koboldo, Koboldo. Okay, so that's it for the first episode. I know we basically barely played the game, but you've got to you got to know the characters in it because eventually we're going to start running into them and I'm going to start putting them into sentences and it's all good. So it's very different to your standard Esperanto lesson because you don't start by learning things like gnomes and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically it. If you've liked this video, give it a like. Um, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, you know, sign up if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well then! I don't know what's gonna happen to you when the whole loop boy travels in. <laughs>